if you can keep the, I'll take them in batches of three, if you can keep the question short, we'll get more questions in, and um, uh, yes, we'll also now start passing, uh, Charlie, could you start passing the bucket around there? Uh, so, uh, by the way, the wine has been on cocktail out there as we speak, so uh, if you speak faster, we'll get the wine quicker. Mm -hmm. And uh, all our speakers will be here to talk as well. Yeah, outside. Yes, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you. I get you in the next term. Sorry. Okay, so on the energy issues, in the case of Germany, if I understood correctly, you're saying that the country would need a different kind of grid system in order to make the best use of renewable energy. This is opposed by the incumbent companies, which would lose money, power, do something change. So I want to ask politically, do, do relevant NGOs realize this and make a demand together for a different infrastructure? And likewise, in this country, does the same argument apply? Should we be demanding a different kind of infrastructure to make the best use of renewable energy here? Thank you. Then we we'll answer three them in batches of three tips. To, uh, more, yeah, your next setting, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, um, I was just wondering about the, uh, the glyph is it glyphosate? Yes. Right, yeah. Uh, the glyphosate uh, pesticides, are they being used in my like, household use, or is it yeah. just really? Uh, like, in my Sainsbury's, it's this shelf with Roundup on it. Uh, it's Roundup? Yeah, it's a commercial name's Roundup, yeah. Yeah, oh, is it, is it, oh, because I've heard about Roundup. Yeah, glyphosate's the app. Look at the ingredients. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Roundup is even worse than glyphosate. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. So what about like weed oil and all that, is that? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, you, you, you just have to look at it. The, there are many formulations, mm -hmm. and because uh, all these so-called adjuvants, they keep it a secret. Right. But some of them are known, and the ones that are known are already tested to be more more toxic and they have synergistic effects with the glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 and you were then... Yeah, we were not yeah, supposed to. Yeah, you were the total one there, I think, yeah. Um, with regards to the energy talk, um, when you talk about nuclear, which nuclear are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, you've got two questions now. Uh, yeah, just, just the first one is the energy grid, because... Uh, um, I'm just going to stand up here. Um, because... Because, I don't know if you, if you follow that in Germany now, quite a few um, local, uh, not, not government, um, organizations like, uh, uh, I just can't, Bürger Initiative, I can't think of the English word. Really? Uh, right. Yeah, basically they try to, they buy, they try to buy the grid back of companies. Yeah? So quite a few uh, people founded by, by locals, so to say, who actually want to buy the grid back of, of big corporations. That works quite well. Uh, it failed in Berlin. They tried a big petition in Berlin. They were very close, but Fattenbar succeeded with a massive advertising campaign to keep the grid firmly in their hand. While in Hamburg, they did succeed and they bought the grid back. So uh, they now got the grid and they can actually invest money to actually take the, the renewable and distribute the power more efficiently. Yeah. I don't know if that answers the yeah. question. And, and that would be yeah. something here would be ideal. And we make similar demands here. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think there is, is lots of, of a local level. It, it doesn't get the news coverage. You know, you really have to either click a hundred times in the Guardian to get to some page that some local community somewhere in Cornwall has now given their own grit and whatever. You, you just, it's not reported. And it, it does exist here and it's very good, yeah, yeah. Regarding nuclear power, it's like all the nuclear power we're talking about fusion, yeah, uh, uh, fiss fission, yeah, so splitting atoms, not fusion, yeah. So in, in, in Germany, you have basically the, the common nuclear power station, you had 36 nuclear power stations built uh, since the you know, 1960s, exactly, I don't know on top of my head. And basically, they're all, some of them are groundbreaking design, but they're all essentially heating up water into steam, driving a turbine. 
and then basically uh, with, you know, putting that into electricity. So there are no, at the moment available, there is a lot of talk about fusion, there's a lot of talk of thorium, there's a lot of talk about that, and all of that talk was there already 30 years yeah. ago, yeah? And when you look today, I just had the uh, Focus magazine, that was unfortunately slight here as well, for May this year, BBC Focus got that, that magazine, and there was uh, Recreating the Sun was the title. And exactly that title, I have a magazine at home 30 years ago, and it was barely talking about exactly what's possible, and it's always about talking about tomorrow. And but that, actually the BBC one on that occasion was actually quite straightforward, actually quoting one of these nuclear scientists actually saying uh, that the fusion power reactor is possible perhaps by 2025, yeah, and even then it's not a cheap option. So, and that was very clearly. And just on that note, I'm talking about nuclear power for uh, people. I work a lot in nuclear power plants, I have to admit, and I've been to many nuclear research facilities because with my work that takes with me. And to my amazement to the nuclear facilities, I've been in Wittkot, I've been in Switzerland, Paul Scherer, and other than Germany, uh, to my utter amazement is actually how open-minded the people are. But I actually thought I come from complete anti-nuclear, and I actually become sort of completely pro-nuclear, but fusion, sun, yeah, and actually uh, talk to people. And this one is, is just printed from the Science and Technology Facility Council. That's what I picked up in Ditcot when I had my last trip at the nuclear research facility. And there's a lovely brochure telling you all the good things about nuclear power and everything. But one thing is here, fantastic thing here, flexible plastic solar cells. And it actually tells you here about the grid, it talks you here about the fuel cell. And the plastic cells, that plastic solar cells, like in one hour, enough energy from sunlight falls onto Earth to satisfy the energy needs of the planet for a year. And that is in one of their brochures. And then they actually talk about various other things, but it's actually not nearly as, you know, as aggressive or anti as I thought, and you have solar powered street light in a nuclear facility. Everyone cycles and get vegan and vegetarian food. And you think, what's the matter with these people? It just it, it's just really totally different to what I expected. So I just want to make the point as well. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, May one wanted to uh, say yeah. something on that issue, on the energy issue as well. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, it's very interesting because uh, as, as you probably know, Germany is actually transforming its grid. And um, power storage, energy storage, is a very, very key issue. And in fact, um, a lot of, a lot of, you know, Africa has lots of, lots of uh, renewable energies. And you don't actually have to have a national grid. You can have mini grids. In fact, you, you can achieve a lot. If you have low energy requirements, you don't even have to go onto the grid. Do you know? Uh, there was a lady back there and there, and I'll get up to end the other lady alongside you. Yeah, so you three in a row there, which is a bit unfair. But, uh, yeah, then I'll get up to this uh, uh, next round. I just wanted to respond to um, uh, you've been saying there is a lack of information that you speaking world. And um, I mean, for instance, I was very impressed with uh, Eva's demonstration, you know, about the effects of glyphosate. But you could have equally horrifying demonstrations about the effect of Fukushima, Chernobyl, uh, low-level radiation, yeah, which is recently <laughs> has been the long-term low-level radiation, the effects on DNA and all sorts of things, could be horrifying. But there isn't the, the information in English speaking, on the English speaking net, there's an excellent German website, very informative, it's called 100, Grüne, 100 Gute Gründe gegen Atomenergie, with information, there are now more than 100 reasons, there are now 120, I think. It's not translated. There's quite a lot of information on Fukushima and, and nuclear power hazards on our website. It's in English. Okay. Uh, it's, 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 you want it's, to know. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you get the right one. <laughs> uh, the gentleman was next, I think, and then the lady alongside you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. Um, we cover everything. We cover. Regarding uh, energy saving, um, I think the phrase you used was that nobody makes any money out of energy saving. Isn't it possible that it's no, none of the big corporations make any money out of energy <laughs> saving, but actually in terms of immediate short-term economic prospects, insulation, small-scale works actually offer a lot of householder energy saving and local employment. It, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's mm -hmm. better for it. But the second, second point, I just wondered if there are any references uh, on to some of the figures that you used on uh, HS2, just uh, just background briefing as a kind of thing that I'm after. I, I, I enjoyed the talk, but I wouldn't know where to go for specific references to back up some of the arguments that you used. Uh, I could, um, sorry, Sharon. Well, as I said at the end, I, that's the easiest thing. If I, if, if the Green Party is prepared to set up at some sort of website or whatever. I can feed documents into it. I mean, I, I can just do my own documents to that, but I can also get um, the others which are... Uh, put in things like... <coughs> could I say something about the nobody makes money? Oh, yeah. I, I, I remember about 35 years ago being told that in California, um, a power company, if it wanted to have a, build a new power station, it had to show that it had done. It had encouraged its customers to uh, to undertake all sorts of energy-saving things. And I wondered if that that isn't something which I'm sorry I don't have the details, but I'm sure they exist. Um, I wonder if that isn't something we could do. Or or with the household, you could say you could say um, um, we'll we'll do the installation. We'll bear the costs, and and we'll charge. Just to say, we're saying it was a broad generalization because yeah. it never really taken off. There's, of course, many people and look, like you said, and, and like you said, there are a lot of people who, who try to drive, I mean, saving energy. And, and you know, you may have had some new green uh, world, and you see, I've done a, a small thing on super homes, and they are actually encouraging to, to save energy. And you can find links of obviously it does exist, but yeah. uh, the lady. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask about the um, pesticides. So I gather that um, products that are grown in America and Argentina are grown with the pesticides, but not in the UK. Um, is there any limitations on imports coming into the UK that are grown with the But a lot of it comes. A lot of the GM crops are. They come to Europe, but they're to feed the animals. So the Danish pig farming, for example. Um, but not there's not really much of it in but the UK food supply. You know, the, the thing to watch out is that the, um, the, the whole regulation system is entirely corrupt. Um, you know, recently uh, there has been um, kind of the uh, glyphosate has to be reapproved. It's up for reconsideration for reapproval. And you know what they did? They actually set up a system where Monsanto and some uh, consortium of biotech companies were delegated to do the risk assessment. And as a result of which, <laughs> they recommended that it should be increased, that the so-called safe level should be increased by some 60%, I think. Yeah, that's... That's basically how corrupt it is. That's why I say you cannot trust any of these, uh, the EU or our own government or, or what. You just have to do it at local level. Everything has to be done at local level. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, not a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, you your hand up. I'm sorry. You your hand up. You your hand up. <laughs> yeah. I'll get to the middle <laughs> ones next. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so Charlie, <laughs> Hugo, and... Uh, this, this question is slightly cheeky, but I'm just interested to know what you think, Stephen, and that's um, on the HS3, as there's been announcements, do you think the arguments against HS2 also stand for HS3? Or have you not had a chance? Uh, well, th there's a better case for, for uh, railways in the north. Oh, outside London, uh, generally, I mean, over 40 years ago, um, there was a report called Changing Directions, which said we should be looking at forgetting about London, building up the regional railways, and, and in the north, certainly Professor Tomney, who I mentioned, is, is very critical about the 
difficulty of getting about in, in the north. I think he's more concerned with the northeast because that's where he comes from. But, uh, but otherwise, it's exactly the same. They haven't said what are the problems. They haven't said uh, what we're going to do about them. And some of the things we say is absolutely ridiculous. They say, we're going to get the we want the same level of connectivity as we have in London. Well, it's, a, it's rather as if you could only go from Clapham Junction to Baker Street, you know, crossing the river. I mean, it's absurd. Yeah? This building one high-speed no, link or something, it's not getting right. It's, 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 it's the same... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's the same. So, Ken Livingston, no, Tony Blair coined this phrase, isn't he? Eye catching initiatives. We must have some eye catching initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that's what it is. I mean, it sounds good, and it's, um, you know, we're doing something at the north. Um, Hugo was next, and then Rabbi. Yeah, it's about the, <clears throat> I don't know if you listen about the, the German plan uh, or something that I, I listen, I, I understood that when the switch off plan to disconnect all the nuclear in, in Germany is starting with the Green Red Coalition, SPD um, Green Coalition on, at the beginning of the 2000s, uh, it was any kind of plan to develop um, uh, renewable ener energies um, in the Sahara, in particular in Morocco. And maybe I misunderstood this project, but I read something about a big project in the south of Morocco, quite close to where I come from, Canary Islands, and in, in this area to develop a, something like 80,000 80, megabytes, or something like that, I don't remember the amount, and then, then approximately one thirty was to be uh, just to the, to the use of the, of the of Morocco, and the system was to to mm, trespass energy in a in a national system. So well, Spain was to receive because there is a connection, a submarine connection between Morocco and Spain. So Spain was to receive twelve thousand, and then mm, Spain export twelve thousand to France, and France or elsewhere to to Germany. So what do you think about this plan? And also, what do you think about the to create? Uh, European uh, unit uh, about you know to think energy uh, not market necessarily but energy necessities of, of the European society in terms of the European Union where this kind of competence will be taken in, in a you know in a, in a big uh, euro agenda and I start to, to, to think about this kind of thing because if we would we would like to cut our dependency to the Russian gas then we need to start to think in, in, in big solutions in a, in a European scale. Um, I just is glyphosate an organophosphate? Well, it's not. I don't think it's classified as such. But because it certainly has. It's an organic and it's well because one of. Phosphate. I mean, several years ago, I made a film about organophosphates, and one of the problems they used a lot in agriculture, and the person who pioneered the research was a farmer. And the, um, it was very difficult to get data because all the cases were isolated farm workers. But one of the issues was that it was an accumulator, that it comes in all different sort of substances. And you, 